We are headed into town and we are very happy. <laughs> to the edge of hot springs. Woo woo. So I made it to hot springs. Right now I'm walking down to the library to work on videos and whatnot. So sorry for the shakiness. It's just easier to walk and talk. Um, but yeah, I'm at least spending the night here. I might spend two. Just because that calf muscle, it's just, it doesn't hurt. Like right now it doesn't hurt, but it's like it'll get tight and then it does a pinchy burny thing. And I don't know. I just, I'm a little worried about it, to be honest. Um, out of like all the aches and pains I've had so far, like that one's the most worrying to me. Because I've been a long distance runner before and... This is the first time I've had a muscle be burning and pinchy on me, and I'm going to the library to also look up if that's something I should be concerned about. <laughs> um, like I said, you are usually in pain of some kind throughout the day, um, so you need to know when normal pain versus not normal pain, and it's not normal pain for me. So I just want to make sure everything's okay before I start, you know, hiking 15 miles again <laughs> for days on end. So, but yeah, today's good. And I'm gonna let you go because there's people walking down the sidewalk. So, I'm gonna take one of these flowers and put it on my pack. So, oh, I just noticed we're in the Smoky Mountain Diner and there's this really cute, cool Appalachian Trail mural. It's got the Amicalola arch and like a white blaze and all kinds of nature scenes. Some of you hiking. It's just really awesome. Like Mount Katahdin. So I'm at the hostel. In, in all honesty, I don't want to hike today. I just don't. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm frustrated. I'm also happy too. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the trail, but I'm just. I don't, I'm I'm just tired, and um, I got a lot of things to do on the internet and all that stuff. I'm stressed out. Um, mainly it's because my pink blazer showed up last night, and I'm just like, you know what, I'm not gonna let this person dictate how I want to hike. Like, originally I was gonna take a zero anyways for today, just because my body kind of needs it, um, with my calf muscle. Like, I'm a little worried about that, um, as I stated in my previous video, and, I, just because he yelled blazed into town and whatnot, like, and I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not hiking. I'm tired. And I need a day to rest my mind and my body. And then tomorrow I do 20 days. Or 20 days. 20 miles. So I'll get out there. It's just today I'm just not doing it. <laughs> so I see this tree in town here. It's really cool. I like the flowers. So I feel like I should explain a bit better about why I... Be yeah, maybe this is not the place to do this. <laughs> so I should probably explain why, a little bit better, why I would just would not hike today. I love the AT. I love hiking. I love the trail. I will finish, I will go to, to Katahdin, but today I just couldn't, couldn't get myself to hike. Mentally, physically, I just, I just didn't want to. And it's a number of factors. One, the person I was trying to avoid for pink blazing I was two days ahead of them, legit, two days ahead of them, and they yelled blaze to town here. Now, they weren't following me this time. They were avoiding the park rangers in, um, in the Smoky Mountains, apparently, and I have from at least two sources that that's true. Hold on. So, that person did not come here because they knew I was here. So, that is kind of refreshing, but the problem is, is they're in hot springs at the same time as I am. And that just stresses me out because that means I have to get ahead of them again. <laughs> Thing number two, um, my right calf muscle has been bothering me and I wanted to take an extra day to rest it up because I did a little research and none of it is good. <laughs> it's an overuse injury that could turn into a ruptured Achilles tendon apparently. So I wanted to 
Take a day to heal it up. Number three, I need to start putting in miles. And I mean like a lot of miles, like 20 mile days pretty soon here. And so I kind of have to separate from my group and it's a lot easier to do if you're taking a zero. Um, they know I'll catch up to them for a couple of days, but then I have to pass them again. Now we'll finish this later because I'm gonna eat dinner. Okay, so now that I'm sitting down and I got my order in, um, Reason number four, I didn't really want to hike this morning, and I know you are, you know, I have a few regular subscribers, you know who you are, Thrifty Endurance, and Tom, and Alan, and Lamplighter, and, oh my gosh, I can't remember everybody, I'm so sorry, and Quicksand, and um, Traveling Outside the Bots, all you guys are wonderful about, you know, being patient, me getting out my videos, however, I am so far behind in videos, or I was so far behind in videos that it was starting to stress me out. Because it was like, I'm on day 26 or something, and as of right now, I have day 17 up on YouTube. But when I came to town, I only had day 9 up. Like, and it wasn't even like fully up either. So I was just like, I'm so far behind. I have so much work to do, and like, I'm not getting any of it done. And so I was like stressing about that too. Basically, I was just a one big ball of stress this morning, and I just I just needed to take care of some things, get my mind right, get my body right, so I could get back on trail tomorrow. Um, but yeah, and uh, number five maybe is like going back to like hiking with other people. Like I love hiking with the people I've been hiking with; they're phenomenal people. Um, but. I have a different hiking style from the person that I've been hiking with, and they're wonderful. I love them to death, but like, they're more of a focus and go type of hiker, like all the time. And for me to feel better throughout the day, I need to be able to take mini breaks and stuff. And this is not anything that they did or said. It's just when I'm hiking with them, I feel like I need to keep up. So I like, push myself to go farther or to push myself past like my mini breaks and whatnot. Um, in order to stay with them and um, so they don't have to wait on me for so long and it was starting to get a little bit stressful for me a tiny bit like again they were perfect they didn't do anything this is just me and my mind and how I was reacting to it um, so yeah I, I think I need to just kind of do my own thing for a little while as far as that I still want to hike around other people though because uh, the that pink blazer being in town. Oh, and look, there's a pretty cardinal. I always get distracted in my videos by animals. But this is way too long. But yeah, I just wanted to explain a little bit more of like where my mind's at, why I didn't hike today. Um, like I'm not getting off trail or anything like that. No way, no way in heck. So, but yeah, just trying to be real with you, how I'm feeling, how it's going, and but I'm about to have lasagna dinner. So excited. I haven't had lasagna in forever. So, but I'm gonna put this down and relax. All right, bye. The dinner I'm going to eat. Oh, it looks so amazing. And the, she's bringing out cobbler too. I don't think I've ever had cobbler before, so that'll be interesting. But there's a little side salad and some bread and the lasagna, and that's ranch sauce for my salad. So happy. All right, so I ate most of it, but I realize I don't like cobbler. It's got a weird, like, gelatinous um, texture to it. And I'm not, I don't like gelatinous textures. I'm not a fan of, like, of jello and pudding and whatnot. So, I mean, it tastes nice. It's just, ugh, texture. Ugh. But yeah, I ate my salad. I ate my bread. I ate most of my lasagna. That's actually a lot of food for me. So look at me. Yay! So like there's like a teeny teeny little section I have of the trail in town here that I haven't done because we just went to the hostel and bypassed it. So I'm coming to make it up and it's like going past this like bulletin board thing and this is the backside. And I'm like so glad I stopped. It's so cute. So at some point in time, fourth grade, 2010, okay, the elementary school here wrote little notes to the hikers um, and like this side is like the alphabet, so they got they got a letter and then um, 
a letter of the alphabet and they had to like write notes about it but it's like dear hiker you will see a bunch of trees on the trail <laughs> a tent and some trails and even a table it's, it's just so cute it really is um, another one, if you walk the AT, you're going to need a canteen, chips, chapstick, and a can opener. It's just, it's so adorable. I really like it a lot. <laughs> it just made, it made my day. Like, seriously. It's so cute. And then, Oh, that one doesn't show up so well. A lizard ran through the woods faster, slower, faster, slower. He's trying to find his way home, but lost on the way. Is he looking around and running at the same time? <laughs> he bumped into something. It was a very clear, except for like the shiny thing in the middle of the... Okay, I'm not sure. It was a lantern. <laughs> oh man, this is so cute. I love this. I love this so much. And then I walk a few steps. And I find wild strawberries. They're really tiny though. I'm not going to eat them. But there's one there. And there's one down here. So that's pretty cool. There's one over here. So I'm getting my resupply together. Um, Hot Springs was kind of meh for me for that. But anyways, I've been eating one of these a day as like an actual snack which surprises the heck out of me. So I decided to get one for every day, plus the extra. <laughs> plus a couple extra, so that's amusing. But a lot of it's like chips and nuts and some jerky. Um, I'll definitely, there's summer sausage and triscuits. I'll definitely be in hot springs in a few days. Oh, I have a couple of apples, but yeah. Um, usually I get more fresh food for the first two days um hummus and sugar snap peas and deli meat i do have some deli meat in the fridge um but yeah it's it was kind of at least for the stuff that i like to eat it was a little slim pickings here in hot springs but if you're on the hiker diet like the traditional one it's a good place for you to to resupply but if you're a little untraditional like i'm not super untraditional but one that prefers more fresh foods um it's a little slim pickings, so 